with some energy. Some uh, Okay. <laughs> What's up? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Sergeant Adams, I'm not wearing pants. I don't know why I'm looking over here because the camera's over here. It's true. Man. He's not wearing pants. You're that again? Pants. Mm. So we're going to check out the Confirm. volume four soundtrack. No. Today. No. no. <laughs> we're going to start that over. What are we doing? Yay. <laughs> this is volume uh, three. Oh, three. Okay. Sorry. I'm, no. <laughs> Stop. Take two. Volume three. Oh, tree pretty. Oh. <sighs> Hello, we're gonna t- <laughs> we're gonna go through volume three today, um, and it's a lot more exciting because we have more faces in the apartment today. We're invading on your series. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we have a, we have a rhythm section. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's true. The drummer and the bassist showed up to play today, and we the have pianist. A whole band. I'm always here. <laughs> yeah. Although it should not be right, like you know, get a split up rhythm section with that. Right? That's weird. You guys are strong enough players. You can just like. It's because we're, not, I use, guys, we're not using monitors, so they have to hear us. So. You can listen. Wow. You guys, you guys sit together enough in the other videos. <laughs> right? Yes. We've learned. We need to break you up a little bit. <laughs> All right, teacher. Well, we're going to just listen to the soundtrack, are we? For volume three? Volume yeah. Three. Awesome. Uh, like, Start to finish? Like all the others, it's going to be kind of song comments, song comments as it goes on. Yeah. And we're going to use Flint of Ruby. We're going to use his stuff again because it's. Obvious, it's accurate, obviously, because mm-hmm. he gets everything from Jeff, so mm-hmm. there won't be any misunderstandings of what what have you. And just in case you're tuning in for the first time, um, Jason Sterling and myself are going through this series. Uh, in, I guess in real time, we haven't seen this. We haven't seen the soundtrack before, and we're going through the series um, that's being documented on the channel. Bruce and Goose um, have seen. Uh, all of what's come up for Ruby and all the soundtracks. So they're very much the guides, and we are. <laughs> we, we are we are being led. We are their spirit guides. You're right. <laughs> so it's a journey for everyone, but especially for us three. So <coughs> just an update. So yeah. Yeah. What he that's said. A, that's yeah. go. <laughs> y'all, y'all ready? What's so, song um, number one called? Yeah. <laughs> all right. So well, the opening, you know, track like it always is. For the opening of the mm-hmm. tune, or uh, shit, the chapter, Show. whatever. <laughs> there it is. So, we'll get what there. Are we, what are we doing? I don't <laughs> know. So, uh, I'm so yeah. So this is just it's this spray. is the opening tune, and obviously, it like you're looking at lyrics and other things in hindsight, mm-hmm. obviously, which is kind of an interesting way to do it. Yeah. Um, one thing that I didn't notice until um, a mutual like somebody that. Sterling and I have talked to on YouTube or whatever that had mentioned this after they had seen finished volume three. They said, "Yeah, if you go back and you look at the, um, this is why I don't wa- I don't like you guys watching the no. full intro. Yeah, is because spoilers. Well, you guys are smart enough to understand metaphor and nuance and things. And it's like, oh, oh, is that? Oh, that must be that person's dad or what? I mean, because of the right. half a second that you see, you're like, yeah. okay, got it. You yeah. know, or something, right? Or if you've seen anime long enough, you start to develop the intuition of just like, <laughs> yeah. like oh, the whole I show know, is in the first minute and 30 seconds. Yeah. Yeah. Hooray. Spoilers. The whole, the whole season's right here. Yeah. yeah. So, um, so there's one, one of the things that <clears throat> someone had pointed out, and I just never noticed it because it just kind of goes by so quick. But in the intro to this, because this is the one where it starts out kind of soft, and then all the grim rush through the frame, the f- when they're they're kind of sp- falling in this like kind of skydive is like, mm-hmm. which is a that's right. used a lot for different things or whatever, and they kind of break up. But the first person to like break away from the circle, and not just break away from the circle, but get like fucking flung Yeeted. out of it, yeah, is a uh, pure. Of course, yeah. I swear. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like, I swear to God. <laughs> this is why, this is right, why, like, yeah. you've seen enough anime to know. I would like, just be like, wait a minute, hold on. Yeah. Why are they going away? <laughs> yeah, exactly. And the second, like, season three's finale starts showing up, you're like, hold on a minute, yeah. wait. Hold up, Fowen. This is gonna suck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna hate this. And so that's why I'm trying yeah, to, like, that's, yeah. <laughs> that's why, like, that's why Goose Up and I have been trying to, like, keep you guys, like, wrangled in. It's relatively in the dark. Well, I didn't know what was going to go down but i remember i watched volume three and i was like yeah this doesn't sound good at all no right. it's gonna be shitty eh, it probably won't yeah it turned out <laughs> yep, shitty. <no. laughs> yes. it'll be a lot of minor fine keys. Mm-hmm. so uh so anyway so it's here's uh key. it's always gonna be sad mm. when it falls it's the opener so uh featuring casey Lee which is funny because what's yeah, the cool. the end of season three is known as the fall, fall of beacon, of beacon. 
okay. Do I need to All point? Right. No. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, why? <laughs> Just go. It reminds me of Castlevania sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> whoa, whoa, okay. <laughs> Very much kicking yeah. down the door. <laughs> this is why I didn't want you to, like, see it. That's good. I like that chord. It's all sevens. Okay. Right down. Yes, board. yes, yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> yeah! It's dissonance. Oh, I want it so badly. I didn't think it was gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we love a good breakdown here. Wow! Hold on. Look at her! Damn! <laughs> mm -hmm. Baby's first harsh vocals. Yeah, he just kind of <laughs> screams it. Ah, it's so thick. Yes. <laughs> How is his kick doing that? Like, yeah, that like, kick is Jesus. <laughs> it's weird. Forcey's thick of a chord there at the end. <laughs> that's, that's a, it's a thick, tasty breakdown. So, so many harmonies. I don't know where I can hold them all. <laughs> Get ready for volume three, four, five, and six harmonies. <laughs> yeah. That was a lot. That was that was a lot. Yeah, it kind of. Um, and that's just the opening track for the whole show. I know. That I so. <laughs> I personally thought that like the chord progression of that song to be rather weird. Not bad. Not bad. Not at all. But I just so it's it was just a lot of not what I expected. Right. Uh when when you Are you talking about that part before the guitar solo or when she stops? Which is I mean, just like the, the verse the chorus is pretty linear and straightforward, yeah, but like yeah. everything other than the chorus, it's like it's uh, all the all the chord movement and w all the the chord movements aren't the most obvious thing to tell and there's seventh harmonies on almost all of the chords mm -hmm. so it's just yeah like, it's a lot <laughs> <laughs> all the tension not a bad thing at all he hits the, it's that it's finally like, gets that chord he's just like all right how many thirds can I put in two hands? Yeah. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> it felt like so but not in a bad way. I love it. I right. love it. The the coin is that on on the on the pro side of it, um, it, it was real fucking thick, like yeah. juicy, tasty chords. On the con side of it, 
I for sometimes to me it felt a little bit um, uh, messy. Mm. Like it, it, it sometimes it, or not, that's not the word. It felt crowded mm. a little bit sometimes, which is not bad. And that's also a first listen, so I can't claim to get a get a full analysis on one time through. And it wasn't yeah. So um, I liked it. Just sometimes it felt a bit crowded. Yeah, like as I listened to that one more and more. Over I imagine it time. smooths itself out. Well, yeah, it's like you start. To, yeah, I understand what you're, it's. On a first, first listen. On a first listen, it sounds crowded. Yeah. And then on like three, four, and five, you start to hear all the little bits, and you're like, oh, "Okay." I, oh, I, it's all intentional. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I have no doubt. I would yeah. have uh, that. You know, once once your ears get used to it for a second, you're like, oh. That's fair, yeah. And by this. by the end of the song, it was always starting to like pan itself out. But I just remember hearing it to be us, but like, because they kicked the door down in the song. It's just like piano, piano. Yeah, fuck you. you. <laughs> and I was just like, so much is going on. Oh my god. There's too much already. It just kind of like lures you in, and then just. No. But I mean, it's very you know mirrored to not mirrored, but like kind of with the show what happens in this season. Yeah, so. no, it's, oh, yeah. it makes sense that there's like all this stuff going on. It runs parallel to all the shit that's going yeah, down. It was a very busy volume, I know that too. That's like, why, well, that's why it's one of my favorites is because it's, it doesn't stop. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's not No, just, not at all. Well, yeah. and it's not necessarily because I'm the type of person where it's like, well, I need to have something always happening and we can't do character development, you know, and because it's boring. Yeah. It's just a matter of like, Oh, we've really upped the pace, right. and so like it totally just like hammers in on. Oh, that's right. It starts at the festival. That's right. The sports yeah. festival, right? That's right. So out and of the gate, everything got like the first thing you see is like no. you, you round saw, one. Oh, I mean, like you see what is it? Uh, I'm trying to remember. So Ruby's at the at the headstone. Oh yeah, talking with her dad behind. So her. Yeah. Cup. And then yeah, and then, <laughs> and then the next scene the goes immediately into festival. like fight scene. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, so yeah, like, but everybody's there, so you know, like, okay, this is perfect. You know, if I'm a terrorist, I want to do something where everybody's there. Right. Oh yeah, no, they set that up. They set that up really well. Mm -hmm. I'm just happy we got an honest to goodness like breakdown. Like we. Us us metal enthusiasts got like an awesome good China breakdown for a second. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the, 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 so, that's what I like half time. It was so good. <laughs> and I was like, they're not going to do this. It's not, it doesn't fit. And then it, it did fit. And I was just like, yeah. That, you can, that's, I think that's your way of describing every song we've heard so far. It, uh, the, no, a, lot of your, a lot of your comments have been like, I didn't think that would work, but it did. Yeah, that, that is true. And there are some songs like Boop, where everything that happened in the song is something I saw coming. And it worked really well but yes there are a lot of songs that are very subverted in like that dirty guitar solo in uh yes yes <laughs> you're like oh wait wait I, that one's this, supposed to go there, like but that. it works really well yeah. yeah it's like it still worked just fine so testament to the williams <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah they know what's up yeah, real tight rhythm section. I don't know there was a lot of times that kick drum was just yeah, going, that, those drums yeah. are doing some stuff. Like just digga 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 digga. It's just this nice, easy flowing pedal work. I mean he's doing I mean he's doing fine. I mean, yeah. Not that I gotta add to it, like I said, it sounded like Pickles was drumming, he's doing fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Usually when it comes like I don't know, I'm not trying to make it a genre or anything, but when it comes to like anime and anime music and stuff a lot of it's just that traditional metal like this constant machine gun shit, mm. and then but it did good. I mean, it changed like the the there was like it changed time and feel for like bridges and the breakdown, of course. So that's I mean, yeah. it flowed good. Nothing felt abrupt or anything. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's true because it doesn't felt like drummer knew his parts. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but, uh, yeah. And like the double bass stuff, it was it was um it was very much a uh, it wasn't just constant. Nope. It switched up yeah. because that starts to wear on me quick when mm -hmm. it's just like. Sixteenths going and going, digga 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 digga. It's like okay, that's great, but mm -hmm. or the power metal gallop. Yeah, It's like that's great, but can we? Can I just get something different for right. five <laughs> seconds? Mm -hmm. Palate cleanser. I, yeah, I need I need my ears to give a rest for a second. <laughs> um, okay, so yeah. the second track is I'm the one, and this is done from this is the tune. Oh, let's see when did this happen. This is the tune that happened during um, the fight that Mercury and Emerald, where they competed. Like, oh, against uh, Team Hashi. Coffee. Yeah. Against Team Coffee, With yeah. With Mr. Tank Boy and the uh, Gatling Gunner. Yeah. 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 And so... Um, yeah, the two on two. It's funny because you'll see it in the lyrics. Um, of course, you, it's going by so quick and you're concentrating on other things when you're watching it. But yeah. um, they're explaining their backstories, a hair, and what their semblances are or are not. 
just a hair in the lyrics and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Focusing on Mercury and Emerald? Mm -hmm. it's, okay. it's actually sung from their point of view. So, yeah. so Jeff is singing Mercury's part, and Casey's singing Emerald's part. And Mercury's are gray, uh, gray text, and then Emerald's are oh, green fine. text. Yeah, yeah. But they're right. really close, so I don't know. It may be hard for Matthew to see the difference on the screen. Oh, no, they're yeah. hard to, it's hard to tell. Oh, and before I forget, uh, in that last track, and I've said this in volume two, and I'm probably going to say it again here, uh, the fact that how well Jeff Williams' harmonies fit link up with Casey Williams' uh, melodic line is just so fucking tight. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, Jeff yeah, is okay. such a high tenor, and in that last song, because Jeff had a lot of the sevenths mm -hmm. in, in the vocal harmonies, and it was just... Mm. Mm -hmm. but by the fact that it's a male voice hitting those high notes puts a little bit of punch on it, and mm -hmm. it, it pushed through the texture. Uh, it's just... For me, it's just like, ooh, that's the icing on the cake. It's so tasty. So more, more unending kudos to the Williams. <laughs> to the Williams -es -es -es. Williams. Williams. -es -es -es. All right. So I'm the one. All right. I'm the one who wins. I'm the video game boy. Game Grumps, notice me, please. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to be friends with Aaron and Danny. <laughs> uh, what was the other thing? There's one more thing about this. Um, it's, I can't place this, I don't, I don't want to like define the style that it comes out as, but it's going to be really obvious, because it's, it starts out that way, and just, <laughs> it just trains all the way okay. I want to say Motorhead's, Motorhead-ish yeah, I mean, in terms of yeah, it's, approach it's to music. that kind of like, all right, here we go, <laughs> and it just goes <laughs> from beginning to end. Yeah, it's, right. yeah. All right. Good. Oh, I remember this. Yeah, you've heard a little bit of this. I've one. heard this the, before. The opening lips of this one. Yeah. Oh, that's a good choice. Sounds like a Pokemon opening as well. Jesus. Jeez. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah, he goes for it. Jesus. Uh, I can't tell. It's yeah, without, it's really without, hard. Without the text, I would have really thought that was it Casey sounds, Lee. Yeah. <laughs> Just doesn't care. He's yeah. <laughs> yep. Mm. Built it. Okay. Oh, that was sweet. It's like Motley Crue, but better. Yeah. <laughs> it's definitely doing that call and response. Though. Yeah. That's very good. Now it's Weird Owl <laughs> harmonies. That's, oh no! That's it's nice. barbershop chords. That's a, yeah. That's good. That's so anime, and I love it. Just. <laughs> <laughs> Right, yeah. I think those suspensions are tasty too. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's good. Oh! Right. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> That was a good, it, the stop was good. <laughs> Let's hope they do it again. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I only think of Weird Al Harmonies right there. I don't know why. <laughs> Two, three, four. Yeah, all right. Alright. Two breakdowns in one album. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Nice. Nightwish. 
in the French Horn. Nice. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> so, I like that one. A I lot. thought I caught it, but I had to like I sat here like this for like a good like minute or so because <laughs> there's um so you got the distorted guitar and everything else going on. There's there's wall pedal going on down. In oh really? Mixed inside of all that in the back. I'm gonna to listen to that again later with, with a little and more it's not, it's not the ch -ch 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 -ch, it's not that. It's yeah. just, but it's it's in there on the chord changes like, like Oh huh. like on the inside of it. Oh really? <laughs> okay. I just never noticed it before, but uh but yeah, it's in there. Mm. So that was not, so I'm not I'm not a big lyrics person, like not the music I listen to. It's not that it's not meaningful, but it's never what I listen to. It doesn't make or break a song. Mm -hmm. But those lyrics made that song that much better for me, so I guess my oh, first really? com my first compliment is that the lyrics on that one actually like r screwed it into place and really made it. Mm -hmm. um, Cause it was it's a great fucking tune and yeah no the lyrics just brought it home for me that was really nice. Defiled by a father was the one that actually like really got me. I was just like ooh yeah that doesn't yeah. rhyme but it's a slant rhyme and it fits and it ah okay yeah well it, like. And the way he's singing that too. Yeah. Because he's up there again. Yeah, I know. No, yeah. it's. I was just sitting there. I was like, yeah, oh, I was really. Very cool. angry. Very angry lyrics. <clears throat> You're a very angry tenor. <laughs> <laughs> You're a very angry tenor. Very angry tenor. I see what you mean by straightforward, but that was that was a really good kind of straightforward. It felt like that song was made for that fight. Like, yeah. Oh like yeah. You, oh. you can tell they wrote it are exactly around that fight. Oh yeah. No, there's and that's the thing. I didn't, when you guys watched like it. that breakdown and then that little instrumental, I was like, all right, I'm trying to think what part of the fight was going on at that time. That's what I was thinking right. of. Yeah, because she was at one that, point, was, that was probably when Well, at one point that cuts out mm. and you go to score instead of tune. Yeah. yeah. You know, and so that I think part, around yeah. then is where actually the tune faded out and you go to like actual score. That's probably where the mirages started kicking in. And the people but there's, other, like, but there's yeah. other sound cues from the tune that are in with like this attack yeah. Uh, yeah. Going on, which was kind of the hits and stuff actually line up with the with the sh action yeah and it's not music. so much always the hits as much as it is like there you Just know the there's choreography yeah there's yeah, yeah. overall chunks of choreography to the fight you know where they go it's with like, the music yeah. yeah that kind of time out a little bit which i thought was kind that's of cool. pretty cool and i didn't really notice that until we watched it with you guys again mm. and um and i went back and was editing stuff and then i started noticing little bits and pieces like that mm. right for stuff. it felt like a swing tune like a swing metal tune, like the drummer's doing. Like, <laughs> yeah. He was doing the call response thing the whole time. Yeah. But then his feet are just like jigga, jigga, jigga. Yeah. yeah. That's what I mean. I'll go with that. I mean, <laughs> we take those. Yeah. <laughs> Buy that for a dollar. Yeah. The industrial metal or uh, the industrial swing kind of stuff I really mm -hmm. like. So I'm mm -hmm. totally about it. That's one of my uh, future projects <laughs> that I want to actually do and create is industrial swing. Yes. That's fair. It's, a good I mean, it's not like we don't have the people to do it. It's just, all right, everyone look at your calendar. Right. Yep. Hurting <clears> cats. <throat> Hurting cats, exactly. That's exactly what it is. Song number three. Yeah. Uh, Faded. <laughs> <laughs> <There it is. laughs> Song number three. So this is uh, obviously about Weiss, I guess, since it has the, uh, that's the artwork we're staring at. Mm -hmm. hmm. um, what was, oh. So if this plays back to the fight with her and Yang, there is a point because this is this is when haha <laughs> watching Flint of Ruby's videos. This is the Flint fight with oh with um Flint and Neon Neon Cat. Yeah, uh, I, don't, well, I don't know if that's this one. I can't remember if that's this one yet or if this okay. is if this was lending the melodies so when her and her sister were oh okay. oh talking. Yeah, that's right. I mean, obviously, we'll know in about five seconds. But yeah, yeah, right. I just can't. I can't remember where this fell in the show. I was yeah. just saying. I remember the point in the fight where. Um, oh no! Weiss jumps onto yeah. the volcano, and that's okay. her whole. 
So we'll, we'll so we'll do this at the end of this because some people have asked about a little bits of this anyway. But um, so th there is a track for uh, track for the soundtrack. There's a difference between soundtrack and score. Everybody, just yes. so you know. Yes, yes. Oh, yeah. So for the soundtrack, there is the track that played, or that has to do with from Neon's point of view. Actually, that oh, character okay. that's coming up in this. Yeah. Right? But at the end of all this, there is the score that we can listen to for that fight specifically. Okay. Mm. That goes back and forth between the styles and swing, like taking the the melodies from the different characters and putting uh, it in the other styles. Oh, uh, so, yeah. So yeah. So at the end of this, let's go. We'll we'll put that on this whole thing. Too, okay. We'll go do that because it's just it's a really like good exercise and like. Holy shit! They can arrange the hell out of a score, right? Too, you know, right? <laughs> it's not. It's not just the pop tune type stuff. So, right. All right. So let's try this one. All right. So here we. Where is it? There it is. Here we go. are really crunchy, I love it. <laughs> Those thirds are nice. They're really yeah. nice. Very mid two thousands, but like this is the best of the mid two thousands. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. 
And then, yeah, right. So up, up, I love that up, melody up, here. And down, down. Like, yep. That's almost a rug pull. Course yeah, that, um, bum, bum. You, want, you want it to go up one more. It, it goes, it stops at a G minor and goes all the way down to C. So it oh, wow. Push. That's a nice chord. Hell yeah. Yeah, no, that walk-up bridge to the chorus yeah. is so nice. I yeah, love that so much. Yeah, that was good. Like, I always wanted to go, yum, pom, 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 pom. Like, I wanted to go up one more. Right. And it drops yeah, down. Because it's, uh, yeah, D, E flat, F, G, C. And then it just goes all the way back down to C. But it's a C7. So you get with the so high. So that B flat can stay. With the high, no, it's a high B. It's, it's oh. Yeah, it's a major 7. Oh. So with a high B. B, you get that up, but with the tonic going down, it's very much one of like those moves, mm -hmm. and you're just like, I don't know, like, uh, it feels like a rug pull moment, but in a really, really satisfying way. Yeah. Yeah, the thirds that. All uh, of oh, those thirds, yeah, those those high. Yeah. High harmonic thirds in the vocal line. What's weird about that interval when it sits up there and I'm listening to it mm -hmm. is I can it's. It's not. It's never bad. Never. But it's. It, it kind of like. When thirds like that are super in tune, you can hear that extra little harmonics out of yeah. overtone. Yes. Yeah, overtone. Yeah. Yeah. And it kind of. It always is. Like, Sometimes throws you off because it's I not. I feel like a dog that's like turning my head to the side. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it's like that's that's good, but easy, easy. You know, like a. It's super strident. Like yeah. it. It. it but whoever mixed the music made sure that those stride and thirds didn't completely overpower what was under it, so it just turned into like a little spear of music. It's just like, yeah, gotcha. Now, was that kind of Weiss's like kind of talking to her dad, kind of how she feels? Yeah, I, or? I think, well, you haven't... Or just famili get, familial strife. Yeah, and I, because I don't know if this falls, where this falls in the volume so to speak. Okay. But, so yeah. you technically haven't met the met, father yet. Met him mm -hmm. yet, but you're kind of getting that vibe, I think, from the conversation that... Her and Winter have. Yeah, her and her sister had, and then like... He's the, a douche. And well, he keeps well, like... cutting off money to... You know, well, yeah, he'll call, but she won't answer, and like, trying to like... Yeah. And so you kind of get that vibe from it anyway, mm -hmm. but yeah. That's, we, we've had inferences by now that the family scene with Weiss is not a healthy one. Yeah. It's just not a good one. It's just one. the front. It's like, it's not all what you see. We're right. all proper. I'm like, no. It's that Kardashian left dog. It'll get you. Well, and and if we, and I was going to say, and if we all take the inference, like, she's loaded. Mm -hmm. So, like, when you have familial issues and there's money involved, a lot of it, you mm -hmm. can, we've seen this trope before and it doesn't play out well. Right. So. No. Um, anything else? Uh, that song's kind of straightforward, but it's just got yeah. some cool like harmonies and a, a couple other things in it. But it's not. It, it's being, being it's the, not the most complex of things, right? And also being the third song after two other bangers, yeah. like the two other flashy, straightforward rock songs. Um, it's a good ear rest. Mm -hmm. A little bit. Well, I mean, if yeah. you're listening to the whole album, yeah, line yeah. by or, line, yeah. all the way through. Favorite drum track so far. He was getting it all. Yeah, he was. <laughs> yeah, he really <laughs> was. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot more going on in that one. Yes. Don't, don't don't eat up. <laughs> his chop, his tastes were just little, like his chops were his fills were just a little more tasty. Like the last one we heard, like I said, it was just like it reminded me of just an old swing tune. Like the fills and stuff were just like kind of standard what you do when a vocalist sings and then you sing back to her with the drums. Mm -hmm. You know, this one it was a little um, it was flavorful because it carried everybody to that little walk up of that. Well, and that, everything else was, was cool. so busy. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, it's tough when you got like two different di like distorted guitar tracks a bass track any other background stuff that's going on you got two vocalists mm -hmm. like hammering yeah. stuff yeah. Yeah. You know, they're they're layering like themselves four. at some point it's yeah. more yeah. like four vocals you're right. I mean but you can't you there's no time there's no space yeah, yeah. yeah. you can't like do any um, there's no room to do more feel it out yeah mm -hmm. where <laughs> <laughs> alright instead I want to feel out the 16th note all the way through instead because like, none yeah. of y'all are doing it no, right mm -hmm. yeah it's <laughs> like so <laughs> All right. Someone's got to be the stable one. Uh, True. Hee haw. Not fall in love with you. Yep. Mm. I do not know the background of this one. I, I know that it has to do. It's a Blake. Peer. Oh, it's Blake. It's a Blake oh, okay. song. Yeah, I can't remember. Yeah, I can't. Remember. I don't want to say any more. Monkey Boy. I don't yeah. want to say any more than that. Just to. Well, 
Yeah, some of, and some of the tunes were written as like kind of fan servicey, but not predictive. Some are, you know. So, it, what's his name? Sun. His yeah. name is Sun. So take it for what it is. Yeah. But just yeah, there's Goku. there's stuff that's fan service. <laughs> yeah. Like, kind of stuff that goes on. Mm-hmm. Or yeah, for all I know, they're even. It's an even deeper cut than that, where they're like, all right. We're gonna throw people off of the scent of what's actually going on in the show by doing this because uh, watch everyone squirm. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> everyone's gonna get so mad. Because Rooster Teeth would never do that. No, no. no. they wouldn't. Yeah, <laughs> they enough. would never just. Uh, uh, our fans are smart. They're inferring too much. Uh, do this. Boogie 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 boogie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look at HBO. look at this over here. Yeah. So. So tasty treat on the fish <laughs> look, line. Look, cool. at this, look at this hundred dollar bill over here. Isn't this nice? Isn't that <laughs> yeah. nice and blue and green? Well, that's the thing. Is like we're not like here to like, you know, disprove or deny oh, no. or, or promote a relationship or anything else. Incite chaos. For yeah. We're not <laughs> shipping anyone. But, yeah. yeah, like we we glossingly pay attention to the lyrics because so many other people have like already done that. Yes. Yeah, you know, as far as like diving deep into them. But yeah, our thing more is like. Musically, what's actually going on and why, and how that fits with things, anyway. So, and how that fits in with the so heavy you, lyrical analysis yeah. that already exists. So, if you want to roast us in the comments, feel free. But what you know, that's not what our intention is. It is, is. It is <laughs> what it is. All right, so this is Blake singing. I guess I don't know. That's the thing is, I guess we'll find out because we'll. it's. <laughs> I think it'll probably be in different colored lyrics if it's supposed yeah. to go to characters. Yeah. Next yeah. time in Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> right. <laughs> Okay. Are, you, are you feeling okay? Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry, I put the old man voice to yeah, it. Right. Okay, all, right. Right. all right, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Just the pure discomfort. Okay, so I guess it's him singing. <laughs> Given the music note. But I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if the lyrics are yellow or black or what's going on. Right. It's his poppy like son's personality. Right yeah, we should totally be at a mall right now dancing. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> oh, that's synth line. Mm. That's just singing. Okay. Are that's both son. Casey and Jeff singing at the same time? I think that. I think it's just Jeff. I think it's him harmonizing over his own. Actually, you know, when that I was probably son. When when I looked at this track header before, oh, it doesn't even say it on here on the description either. There's um, there's no case featuring Casey Lee Williams, so I guess it's just. Yeah. Oh, you're right. I think I at so it's probably son then. Oh, I guess it'd be just son. Yeah, there's no featuring on here, so it's just Jeff. All right. Okay. Yeah, so so Jeff's falsetto sounds feminine, mm-hmm. kind of. And I'm getting thrown off by that a little bit, which is yeah. no slam. I'm just like, dang. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Sweet cinnamon roll of a boy. <laughs> 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 just a little ray of sunshine. You're my PYT. Ah. Michael Jackson rock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I never caught that ever. <laughs> and that is amazing. Shameless too. I know. I, I've like never it. looked at the lyrics. I just listened to it. I never noticed. I never caught that before. Yeah, I've never seen these typed out. So. Yeah. I do like how each. Right. I love. I love how each <laughs> little album bop has there, these man. little like <laughs> mall lounge tracks, and it's just because like, we have boop, we have this, we have Let's just other super lighthearted things. Right. <laughs> that baseline is pretty tasty. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> this looks no, like but it's sterling. Like, <laughs> it's it, like not even in this kind of. Ooh, there, there it not is. E- not even in this breakdown, but in some of the other stuff, it's very much the um, uh, the Michael Jackson sound effects and concepts in the background. Right. But yeah. only the stuff that um. Uh, was it Quincy Jones was responsible for it? Oh yeah, it's very, it's got that very Quincy Jones touches to it. You know, nice little nod. It feels like a Sonic the Hedgehog level. Can yeah. I- <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Or like a Mario Kart 
Trap. Yeah! This is like the new Rainbow Road soundtrack. <laughs> Delfino Plaza. Mm -hmm. Jesus, Jeff. Jesus, Jeff. <laughs> it's, it's, the callbacks? This whole song is so easeful, and then you just have Jeff of Tom just like... <laughs> Being like, happy, angry tenor. <laughs> right, it's still... Uh, it's so intense. <laughs> That's fucking adorable. Cute. Like, squish the cheeks, just like... Aww, you're so cute. I always cute. thought that was... Uh... That's that so was from Blake's perspective. Perspective. I didn't realize that was Sun. Well, see, seeing sorry. the lyrics now, I like, seeing like like the word "girl." I'm like, oh, okay, because I couldn't really hear it before. Yeah. I wasn't really paying attention all that much. That I'm makes... still laughing at the PYT. Right? <laughs> <laughs> never caught that before. <laughs> well, I was gonna go off like it kind of has the synth baseline has that like Sonic Three kind of mm -hmm. vibe, and which Michael, Michael Jackson, Jackson was into, and then the PYT. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. That was adorable. So yeah. No, but it's the whole reason. I mean, we're not saying it has the mall vibe because no, it's, it's stupid. No, <laughs> but when for, it's for, innocent for those for those it's of you who are it younger. Is. Oh yeah, <laughs> malls were the only hangout spot, and so like <laughs> yes. they're well, like on a Friday night. I mean, well, I mean, what what's the Stranger Things? Just watch Things? Stranger Things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stranger yeah. Things three just came out, right? Yeah, and so the the mall scene in there is actually. The mall here in Gwinnett County, Georgia, just north of Atlanta, yeah. that is the mall that was closest to me when I was in high school. So when those, the same, huh? when those scenes are up, I'm like, hmm. <laughs> that food court, I worked in the store right there. But the <laughs> like, that's, I worked there. So, yeah. so I had Henderson. to look, Yeah, so it's like you... It was a movie store. Was it in the 80s, too? No, <laughs> oh, man. it was not. Sorry. Wow, Jason. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm not that old. <laughs> Jeez. But like a, but Rude. Yeah, so and I, I, gave you, I give you beer in my house, and this is how you treat my friends. <laughs> it was funny. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, I mean, it was funny. All right. I'm not saying it wrong. He's right, you know. But, yeah. <laughs> but like that was like all through the 80s and 90s and stuff like that. That was the... Yeah, when I was a kid, I used to hang out in Town Center Mall in, in, Co in but Co that was the, County. But that was yeah. the style... You know, that kind of Michael Rude, Jackson, 80s, topic. Quincy Jones-ish produced <laughs> mm -hmm. type stuff. That was, like, the most popular stuff in yeah. general. And so that's just permanently etched in my brain as mall music. Yeah. That's, there'll be four record stores or CD stores at a mall or whatever, yeah. and that's the stuff that's blaring out of all of them. For sure. I mean, when I was a kid, there was a, a haircut place in Town Center Mall that was... You got a haircut? Yeah, I, I, when I was a kid, I used to get haircuts when I was a kid, uh, and uh, it was sort of video game themed. So like, you could sit there while you're while you're like your sibling or your whatever's getting a haircut. They had a video game area where it was literally they had like every Sonic game. So nice. we sit there literally oh, playing so. Sonic yeah. while waiting for my haircut in the mall. So like, mm. so, like the association of mall music and Sonic is one hundred percent there. That's fucking hysterical. Yeah. Mm. No, so yeah, we're not. Bashing, yeah, we're not, ba we're it not is bashing it. It's bringing like, back memories. Huh. <laughs> it's like, that's just a. It's nostalgia. That's I've a heard those super before. nostalgia. Yeah, oh, yeah. A factual, contextual nostalgia. Yeah. Kind of the thing. only thing it's missing is that. It's a little sound effect. Bing, 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 It sits very close to home, though. So this yeah. one's um, neon. Huh. Yeah. I wonder what this is. So, yeah, you can guess this one. <laughs> I think the character design of Neon is absolutely adorable. She's incredibly chaotic as a character, but her design, I think, is she was all, all freaking she, adorable. She was just missing, like, a, a, well, a Pop-Tart like, like, shirt. It's chaotic. That's the problem is, part, and it took me a minute to figure it out, but her shtick is, okay, I'm going to, ag I'm going to agitate you to get you to... Do bad no, I, I to know. fuck up, yeah. Which was funny because one of the lines, again, when I was going back and editing the volume three stuff, I, right. didn't, I didn't quite catch the context the first time around when I saw it. Was uh, was it? She says something about, "Are those your, you know, oh, what what kind of hair extensions do you have?" Yeah. And when she says, "This is just my hair," she immediately like finds something else to say because like, oh wait, I got blocked. Okay, I need to pick. <laughs> no, some, I, I need know. to find something else to do. Whatever. But, I'm, I'm still convinced she's chaotic, though, because after, after the whole shindig's done, and, and even when she was being friendly and genuine, mm -hmm. like, we should hang out, we should rave together, 
It's fun. It's just like, but like her her energy. She's sitting just, though. It's not just do, yeah. do, do 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 off the wall, and I'm just like. Yeah. So is this tune like very parallel? Great. Yes, this tune is very much like that. It's exciting. Yeah. It's so. But it's yeah. just Internet the song. The <laughs> Imagine what you think the soundtrack for someone who literally has a rainbow shadow behind them would sound like. Right. No, think Neon Cat as a personality and find music to fit. I get it. It's just, I, I. It is not an untrue statement to say that her persona is incredibly chaotic yeah. and just. Oof. Oh, she has a lot of confidence. Yeah, yes. she does. <laughs> yeah, this will prove it. But Bravo. I'm just saying. Bravado. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Mm. Uh, old DDR already. Of course, of course. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I I expected nothing less. Again, rave. Of course. It's a pretty awesome filter they have on her. Yeah, yeah that filter. That synth. Mm. Yes. Okay. That brass is nice. I'm trying to think if that's synth. I think it's just synth. You think? Oh no, it's actual live synth. There's actually live brass in there too. Yeah. Yeah, I was gonna say that there's sounds like, like real brass. There's. On the hits, not not right now. There's half synth and then there's. What's your definition of right now? Is it synth? Yeah. But I think there's one trumpet part in there. Yeah, because which, which would make sense because Flint. Into the measure. Yeah. Uh, right. Mm. And there's like. Right. Yeah. There's. I think there's one trombone in there. That's in the upper it upper sounds upper. like a big band or a ska section. Yeah, it's just like two or three. <laughs> She's a home wrecker. <laughs> that was a good transition. It's funny, is this thing could stand on its own? Right. And be on any EDM. Oh, yeah. CD and people be like, cool. Good, good. Any Just Dance video game. Nice little 8 bit little keyboard solo. That's cute. That's a better nod to Neon Cat, too. Oh, yeah, no, that's the same Casio 8 bit yeah. sound. Yeah, yeah. MIDI sound. I'm just digging this, like, the, this background sound <laughs> yep. a lot. Dirt. Yeah. Dirt. There's not Dirt. Dirt. There's not as much well drum fill in here. I'll move some pants. Right now I'm thinking, welcome to Forever 21. <laughs> Still, what can I get you? Pose. Uh, hi, welcome to Abercrombie. Right. <laughs> you are a legend. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. I just think it's funny because that tune stands so well on its own. It's just a yeah. thing. Like you can mm. have no context of what the show is or anything else. You don't need it. Like, oh wow, this is, okay, cool, you know. Right. But it immediately gave me the thought of, oh, Sparkles, Roller Rink. Which, yeah. Right? Oh, oh man. Yeah. Roller Rink is another Sparkles. Game. Uh, appropriate. And a good reference. Right roller there. Rinks. <laughs> 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 They're still around. If, if malls are one thing, Roller Rinks are the next level. Uh, and, and Sparkles uh, is still around. You know. Yeah. <laughs> It's yeah, but, but just the one on 41, the one in Hiram shut down years ago. Oh, yeah. That, well, yeah. That's what I used to go to when I was a kid. When my brother and I were at uh, Primrose Daycare, we would go to Sparkle all the time during the summer. I went to that one. That was, that was I had this awesome Mickey Mouse hat that a friend of mine had bought me and brought back from Disneyland, and I fucking lost, left it there one day. And I called at the, that night, and it was gone. I was I, devastated. I got my first hustle at the roller rink. What? Was, hustle? <laughs> what? Because I was playing, no, I was playing Mortal Kombat 2, and I got really good. Ah. Yes! <laughs> like I got really it was good the one in Kombat Hiram? Two, yes. The one that's right next to those, so the food? So you sit there get your Sour Patch like straws? Pool, yeah, like the pool table, I have the stack of cores. I'm like, come on, I'll pay for your game. If you you know, buy me an X game if you lose. I beat them. <laughs> yeah, I got really good at that, too. That one right next that's to the food. Nice. The, 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 
And my friends and I would also like we'd go around the rink real fast and then try to hit that wall right by the pool table. Yes. And try to like bam and like try not to flip over the wall. I remember that wall. Yeah, Jesus. we were dumbass little kids. <laughs> Not much has changed. Not say. much has changed. <laughs> Anything you want to say about the horns that were on top doing hits as it was going on? Or? I think it was a nod to, to Flint's character. Horns, horns on top doing stuff. No, <laughs> it sounded like it almost sounded like it was a um, uh, like two trumpets and one bone that was up the octave, one trombone. Yeah. Because yeah. like trombone stuff will get up and trumpet octave for a particular sound or whatever. So it sounded it was kind of like that, but it might have been three trumpets or something. Mm. Maybe. Well, I, I'd, I'd be, tend to more agree with you. It sounded like one of them was a trombone moving up from what I could hear. Yeah. yeah. So, which is the, God, it just, the name just escaped me, but um, there's a, there's a really, uh, Jerry Hay. Oh yeah. It's almost like a very Jerry Hay horns mm -hmm. kind of the background. Which um, I guess I'll have to put a link to what the hell Jerry Hay horns sound like. <laughs> Were we talking about that last time too? Yeah. Oh, well, we mentioned it because yeah, it was, was uh... um, it was in one of the other tunes where there was a horn line. Oh yeah. And but yeah, we didn't. We didn't. I don't know if we. Did, yeah. Did you ever? Did you ever? No. Oh, okay. Oh no, I remember what it was. It was um, uh, when we talked about Flint's. Oh yeah, the four, the four trumpet, the homage. Yeah, yeah that's right. So I was like, oh, that's like totally a Bill Chase thing. Yeah, that's what it was. It was Bill Chase. Chase. One, of the, it, yeah. one of the episodes of Volume Three. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. So um, so, yeah. it was, so it was Jerry Hay is theory, another. Yeah. It's another person. Yeah. Another horn thing that I'll put a link to something in there if I remember later. So. Two set educates you on violins, and we educate you <laughs> on brass. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Studio yeah if you don't work. know who two set violin is, go look up two set violin. Oh yeah. And you should be practicing instead. Yeah. Right. Yes. <laughs> Ling Ling forty hours. Ling Ling would be very Ling upset with you if you are practicing. <laughs> Ling Ling forty hours is their motto. So we we have two you we have two channel references so far. How yeah. many more can we make? <laughs> I don't care. I like all the other channels. So right. I was gonna say yeah. Just put all the tags. Oh, I was just guys. watching the uh, the who's that soloist. Episode oh fucking god. freaking cracking up. Oh my god. <laughs> it's right. Pikachu! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're, you're. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> Alright, so this one's Mirror Mirror Part 2. Let's so, remind us, what's Mirror Mirror Part 1 again? That was from her trailer. Uh, that was that her was Weiss's. Oh. Weiss's, okay. Yeah. Ah, yes. I remember that. Yeah, because she was at the, uh, the not the opera. That's but she was singing. Yeah, she was yeah, singing. Yeah, like she fought against that spirit knight thing. Yup, yup. The ghost knight. Okay, so this is unofficial lyrics. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, and I'm not sure if it's because he did this before he got him. Oh, uh, okay. Or not, but interesting. Okay. Close enough for for jazz oh, for Mozart. Good enough for government work. Yeah, jazz is harder than Mozart. So, yeah. A lot of internet's been listening to it too. Damn. Yeah. Apparently the interwebs really likes this. Yeah. Seven hundred twenty-seven thousand. Yep, that works. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right, so here we go. Actually, yeah. About yeah. <laughs> okay, remember this now. This was playing when she was having the conversation with her sister. Yeah. Trying to do the summons. Summons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then yep. like the little sword and the caterpillar. And yeah. Like, yeah. This was kind of in the background of that part of the score. Mm, you listen to this, you don't yeah, it's tasty keeps so like so much pain. She's a belter with a crazy high range. You don't think that listening to this tune mm. necessarily. Looks like she has scoliosis in that fan work, but I don't know. <laughs> Good posture. Your well, brains. kind of proper posture. I, yeah. Oh man, these synths sound like ah, oh, yes. <laughs> 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 you felt that brown note, didn't you? Yeah. I did. These synths sound like depression incarnate. I'm just like, ah, oh, my soul feels a bit heavy, <laughs> just a bit. They love doing that. Mm. They love going from that one minor to a minor that doesn't. Maybe it's just Weiss chords. Oh, that's true, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
points. Two. <laughs> Look at Jason. He's like. Mm. I heard that rim point. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 That's good. Put a little, put a little echo on that rim click, and you can make anything sultry. Yes. Years of scorn will leave you cold. Oh, got it! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Faded! I'm so mad. Someone I'm stepped so, in a hole. I'm so angry. <laughs> was just... It was right there too, and they're just like, nah. <laughs> it got me too. It got oh. oh really? No, I got bamboozled. I was looking for it, and then he Faded. called it for me. I was like, all right. He got fired from the gig. <laughs> yeah. How embarrassing. Well, I can see. It. Always be counting. Right. Yeah, your vocals is fine. You don't have to worry about it. Hush you, I'm also a pianist. Oh, that's right, that's right. Oh, those swells had a nice, mm. nice flavor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, so it's it, there's Weiss chords, and we'll talk about it after. Yep. Is that, is that the part you were talking about? Yes. There, there's it. two. There's two parts. I see what you're saying. Interesting. They don't say fairy tales, but they say fairy stories. the stories instead of fairy tales yeah I did it where it would rhyme with the next word though oh it's okay, much better but it's I think it's the word C that comes later yeah but so stories C I get that but the vowel the vowel rhymes yeah but it's but it's not so obvious that if you said fairy tales you wouldn't think it was wrong right so yeah. I don't know it's too sharp Tales is a sharper word, too. Um, uh, so two things. One, as much fun as it is to rag and joke about, like, the R&B drum set or drum kit, it was really good. It That surprisingly made it very intimate, and oh, yeah. it went straight yeah. to my heart. <laughs> no, it did. Got started, you in the mood. Well, yeah, it did get me in the <laughs> As silly as it is, it's really <laughs> true. If it ain't broke. Um, no, so with Weiss chords, uh, I... I haven't been paying as much attention today as I normally do, but so it goes. Um, the Jeff likes to play around with F minor a lot with Weiss, and then when there's either a new verse or like the second half of something, it goes from F minor to E minor, and it's that's just not a typical move. Mm -hmm. uh, not without like a chord setup or something in between those two chords. Mm -hmm. So it's a real subverse. It, it like it's really just uh, surprising. Abrasive. Whenever... No, it's not abrasive. Oh. I, that's why I'm using surprising and not abrasive because it's not harsh. It's just mm -hmm. unexpected because it goes F minor to E minor to G minor. So there's this weird circling effect. That he does. Sometimes he goes F minor, C minor, F minor, E minor, G minor, E flat minor, F minor. So it's like most of these chords are all they're really close, right mm -hmm. next to yeah. each other, mm -hmm. and it's very like it's very masterful. And I keep hearing it. Mm -hmm. And since now two songs in this album have been Weiss based, I'm just like, I think I'm I'm pretty sure that Jeff is or someone's doing this on purpose to That's keep these little, chords. Uh, her little, not ED fix, but her, her light little, motif, pretty yeah, much. Just that. Well, yeah, I mean, even that would be a melody, and we're talking about chords, so there would be that that cue. Yeah. Yeah, inside of it. Okay. Yeah. The, yeah, progression, the Weiss progression. I'm feeling the same yeah. kind of surprise every time Weiss comes up, and mm -hmm. I'm just like, there's a pattern here. Well, that's you said F to E minor? F minor, E minor, G minor. F minor, E minor, G minor. I think I heard what you were talking about earlier. About that. Yeah, no, when you pointed it out, was at one of those yeah. points, too, and you're just like, hmm. Yeah, it makes you perk. Yeah. Cool. I like it. I like right. it a lot.
Well, Makes you percolate. This next song is my <laughs> favorite, one of my favorite tracks, period, so far of all six albums. Mine too. Is Divide. Yeah. It is absolutely Ooh. killer. I Hype. fucking love Divide so Ooh. much. I do too. Hype. It's, it's re- yeah, it's it's really sick actually. It is really just good. it is so sick. It's. Mm. <laughs> All right, just okay. just, just go. So should we just talk g- about some other stuff before we start it? Are we gonna watch just to like nut? delay it more? I don't know. <laughs> <Not be> stuck, <laughs> or should we go straight into it? Uh, I'm gonna nut before it even starts. So. Is there any the first, this or that, <laughs> yeah, first note. I'm just gonna nut everywhere. Spit in our ears first. All right, All right. right. everyone stare at him then. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Uh, I can't perform under pressure. Everyone's watching. Right. <laughs> yeah. Too much pressure. All right, here we go. I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that is a tasty drum beat. Yeah, it was a good intro. Oh yeah, that is sick. Um, the lyrics to this one? More strings! The lyrics, yeah. now that you know the... Semi know who Salem is. Yeah, this makes a lot of sense. Oh, that it guitar line is tasty. <laughs> That's good. Yes, yes. Power metal chords. That's a full damn part. Right. These, these synth fills and heart fills, or string and heart fills. Huh. Nice. Nice. That's good. Ooh. So when that worked chromatic. So I'll, I'll say afterwards. Just remember this melody. Right. This is also not the first time on the album Jeff has been doing downward chromaticisms. Mm-hmm. It happened in the first two. Gee, I wonder. Yep. <laughs> and then? Yeah. This four on the floor thing that comes up in a second, like, there's these accented on one, two, three, and four, is. Like really cool from that. There's the similar drive. Jeff loves this pattern. Mm-hmm. This driving for. Right that's good. Because it mirrors the first one, but it's heavier. Oh, it's all the pinch harmonic out of nowhere. <laughs> yep. Ooh, that yeah. oh, Jesus. <laughs> I love that the It's like it's a horn hit. That was clean. Yeah, of course. That's good. Uh, a little draw. There's a lot of foreshadowing in this song, too. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's a villain song. You gotta model it. Right, right, yeah. <laughs> yes! She went up. Ah, oh, yeah! <laughs> so that little. Creepy fairy tale, like children's thing in the middle. In volume four, very first episode, when you see when Salem walks in, she's walking past them. All you hear it's her theme. Is dun, dun, oh nice. Dun. Yeah, that's that's her that's her her light motif. Is that that little, that little yeah. that everyone's song. got a lullaby moment. So when she everyone's walks in, you hear like little glockenspiel and Celeste just like playing well, that very quietly. She walks by them. And in just the like, volume, mm-hmm. in the volume two, score, it's it's in there. It, it was in a tune that had to do with Cinder, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so yeah. it's like it's, it's fitting it's, that yeah, it found it's placing yeah. her on that team, so to speak. Right, yeah. yeah. but you don't team know where Salem. it's from. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So is, have you no shame signing the kids up for your war? I don't know if there's any more to that than what we already know, which is yes. pretty much the fight of the fight of the maidens or mm-hmm. fight for the power of the maidens. Yeah, yeah, talking about the schools and bringing Pyrrha into it mm-hmm. and, yeah. and all the kids. But I feel like there's more to that. It's all hindsight for me now because I've watched all this. Like, oh yeah, it's exactly what happens. Right. Well, there's there's a couple other layers deep. Yep. I have a feeling yeah, we haven't the, yeah. broached it all. So ha- so I would say maybe half of that tune, mm-hmm. you know, relates to what's w- been what done. you now know, mm-hmm. and yeah. then the other half of that tune, or let's say seventy thirty. What's to come? The thirty. There's another thirty percent that's giving. Like foreshadowing. Foreshadowing to, it's like you already know that it's happened, and so it's not really foreshadowing, but at the same time, it's not it's, been specified. It's not been gone. It's died, not delved into. Yeah, well, it's not specific enough that you know the backstory of what they're talking about. Right. Yeah. So it's That's true. some point in time later when those dots are connected, it's like. Oh shit! <laughs> that's that's what you meant. God, I cannot like, wait for that it's moment. A, it's, oh shit! I thought it was this, and it uh, it fits that. No, but but subversion. <laughs> what you were actually talking about was this. Right. You know? mm. All right then. So yeah, season five is gonna be good, and then season six. Oof. Yeah, I couldn't tell if it was going on the whole time, but I know towards the end there was like a real faint guitar kind of sweet. Yeah. Kind of yeah. Like, little, 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 little squiz guard. You'd be like, hi. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. A little, little squiz guard. Just a little it's so squiz guard. Um, I can appreciate that it's there, but it's not like, mm-hmm. hey, look what I can do. <laughs> yeah, guitar really does. The, the guitar has been subtle on like all these songs. Like it's been like, like part. It's been more rhythm, but like it's it's tasty licks when he throws them mm-hmm. in for sure. All right, you're zero. You're you're good. Yeah, it's just. Um, God, no, that op- so. Like like I said before, uh, Williams really loves that like driving for tempo. It's mm-hmm. like the same for all of his openings, and half of his like character fight songs. But the way it started, what what was it? A trip? Dun 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 dun. Just 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 full on syncopated. Oh that, that man. Waltz the first oh. half. I liked that. So it's, it's I I like the hi hat. Yeah, I liked that. It was. It was. And good. then like it comes it back dirty, after. It was rough. And then after that little, you know. Creepy kid song. It, goes, it, it comes back, but it comes straight again. to four. But the yep. but the melody is still pretty much the same. Yes. Yep. Yes. Mm-hmm. There's one thing that I thought I didn't think about till now. There's, um, there's the accent. She's got one syllable on each of the downbeats of one, two, and three, and four, mm-hmm. and it comes around again on "Have You No Shame" yeah. kind of thing. But the first time it happens, it's, it's insistent. But the second time around that happens, there's another added um, cymbal hit, I think, uh, or there, there's, something. There's like almost like a concert bass drum hit that goes uh, yeah. with it or something. Um, That's what I was trying to talk about. It's about like an orchestra end? hit. Because it's like all the horns, all the pitched drums, and all oh, the yeah, low strings. The, uh, it's just like, whomp. I don't know what that is, but I love it. It's all over. Do you know what that one is? Yeah. Yeah, that's this. It was a. Was it Stravinsky? Yeah, it's the Stravinsky hit. Yeah, that's what it. Okay. Yeah, yeah it's it's okay. the uh, the right of spring like those eleven the eleven four yes. bar. Yes. It's just it's literally just everyone is on just this sort of like everybody. It's not it, it's not a chord. Everyone's just kind of saying like relatively lowish on their range. That way, it's just this sort of guttural, just like gut punch effect. Mm. Yeah, it's not meant to be a pitch. It's meant yeah. to be a hit. Yeah, but but, but it's a giving whole the whole orchestra, orchestra to hit. actually have well, a non pitched uh, idea. Well, no. So, on the, but on the Stravinsky thing, there's it is. A, it's an arranged chord yes. that is very specific, but there's enough clashing in it, and so that's the that that chord is what has been used over everywhere. And over. Yeah. So yes. when you when you get a drum machine, or you get a keyboard that says orchestra hit, and you go, you know, you hit the one key, so it bases the chord off of say you hit B flat instead of C, it bases right. off a of B flat chord yeah. instead of C mm-hmm. chord. But that arrangement of sounds is that is, is a Stravinsky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, okay, that's cool. So when I'm so like, that's like yeah. boom, when they do it in here. Boom, it's like, boom, it's like, boom. Okay, I'm right. with you. Yeah, <laughs> it's like I get it. Because power metal bands like Nightwish, any 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 metal band that's heavy on their symphonics, like Nightwish and um, yeah, I don't know, Within Temptation, those hits are everywhere. Yeah, mm-hmm. and so, so um, I've been looking for a name. But yeah, when there's when there's the but that one, two, three, four, there's like a bass drum hit or something that's mm-hmm. It's not the full orchestra Africa. chord, but on it's angrier. 
this for the first time they do it, it's insistent, like Salem's being insistent, and yeah. the second time it's like she's pissed. She's getting angrier as the tune goes on, and yes. so it happens again. Now How do you know shame? Yeah, yeah. It's like she's get she's winding herself up as she's going through. I guess you could say. Like, yeah, I thought that was kind of a cool little like side effect. But I'm getting worried that part of this grand old connecting of the dots that happens God knows how many seasons later is going to be the whole the good guys weren't always the good guys and Salem's not as in the wrong as you think she is. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But that's a, Cause I, like, that's a standard thing though. Like, it is a sta- well From a certain point of view. Kind of. It is it is a trope. I, yeah. I've definitely seen that before but it's not a given even in these long-ended stories because right. some anime just keep the villains as villains and even if they're justified they're still But shitty. eventually they kind of turn into like like you pit, you start to pity you, you start getting like through the power of friendship cool. yeah but <laughs> well, not, not they're, the, they're the lawful evil kind of thing yeah. and you're just like no, I get, I see, I get like, that yeah and I'm worried that that's what's that they're happen. trying for their own cause I'm worried because it's going to make me care about Salem <laughs> To a degree, and well, I'm just like, Cortana, dog. but that's the thing. Yeah. Well, that's right. a good. That's <laughs> <true>. <laughs> <laughs> you hate Cortana, right? So, um, so yeah, and, but that's the thing is like when it comes to stories like well, like this one or like anything else, it's like that. I like it when there's the gray area in there. I do too. I do. Too. And so the because the stuff where it's like, well, they're obviously the bad guy. They're obviously the good guy. No one has a true moral high ground. Yeah, I mean, but Thanos when, did nothing wrong. But, yeah. True. <laughs> when, Thanos is a great example. <laughs> oh yeah. So when when there's that um, when it ac- literally is opposite sides of the spectrum, and it's like the Joker is always bad, Batman is always good, or what have right. you, whatever. Yeah. It is, that's more tiresome to me because you know what to expect. Yes. You yeah. Know what's mm-hmm. going to happen? And it's it's cool when it goes to like a gray area, and if it if it were to go back to those people being in their respective places. That's fine. I'm cool with that. You give them they time don't, to. You don't. You don't have to like cross the streams and put them in the right. opposite camps. Yeah. You know to get any reward out of it. But like that gray kind of murkiness area. I'm like, okay, I'm okay with that <laughs> mm-hmm. because the the polarized side of it gets a little. It's it's a Cliché. little yeah, yeah. It's a little too weathered. You it's know? easy. Yeah. yeah. I guess the Civil War probably a better example of that. Yeah. Yeah. Both sides yeah. Both, both, yeah. 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 I see your side, but I see your side. There's not really. Oh yeah, <laughs> like Tony and yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. It's true. Well, the reason the reason it originally filled me with concern, especially with these characters, is when char- when all characters involved fall into the gray area. Sometimes you walk out of the fog feeling like not liking the good guys as much anymore mm-hmm. probably because of things you learn and like, I'm just like, like I don't, and stuff right, like that, I don't yeah. want to like Oz any less I probably will like I, I see it coming I can hear karma in the back of my mind already like mm-hmm. I'm going to probably like Oz less or I don't know hopefully not Ublek but like the the adults he the switches go- to decaf or right? <laughs> <laughs> Ublek dies <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Matthew was just like, "Boom, you son yes. of a bitch!" <laughs> just kidding. Totally. Okay, seriously. Okay, seriously. I don't trust you. You know no, how to Matthew, leave the witness. Matthew. No, Matthew. no, 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 no. I don't care if this is true or not. If it ever does become true, just know, like, I'm taking a cartoon mallet and going straight well, to your head. So it's playing that Kill Bill music. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, if it does happen, I'll be as surprised as you because. It hasn't happened yet. If it's going to happen, it hasn't happened yet. Okay. Honestly. So. Okay. All right. So I've got nothing. I mean, if it could both, happen, but you, it hasn't yet. Yeah. If you both are leading the witness, I'm coming no. after both of you. No. <laughs> I'm just covering my ass because yes, if in three that's an seasons. Alibi. Yes. He retires and becomes a chef. Yes. <laughs> Tonyo. Um, he opens up a Starbucks. Right. Mm, yeah. <laughs> that would be silly. That would be the closest thing to probably reality. Right. I want to open a coffee shop. You. Stardust. Be the one. Boom. Yeah, it's it's like a it's like a crackhead opening a methadone clinic. It's like, uh, <laughs> are you sure you should be the one running this? <laughs> yeah. I'm sure this is the right place. Don't get high on your own supply, you black. <laughs> <laughs> he is drinking rocket fuel, apparently. So yeah. I mean, <laughs> really? Well, I mean, it's, he's drinking out of his weapon and all that. That shit. is true. <laughs> that like, is funny so as fuck. You're drinking what exactly? Yeah. That's fair. And we digress. <laughs> all right, so <laughs> now we're moving on to. The next track. So Cold is the next track, which... Um, I don't like the visual. The, I don't know what this song is about. Well, it hasn't like, really come up yet. Listen. It's barely there. But so, uh, but there's two meanings behind it. So it fits in two different categories. The, the okay. obvious category that most people latch onto first is the, you know, the artwork. 
you know, that fits there, right? Of course. And the artwork for anyone watching right now, the artwork's not quite up there yet. It's just barely there, so you can't see all of it. But just fair warning. Mm -hmm. And then, like, the other side of it is, remember when I said Wings was the temporary kind of... It, it wasn't written that way because it was all the way back when in the first volume. Right. But it was kind of the adopted kind of, you know, uh, montage is not the right word. Ballad? Yeah. It Anthem? Was for, for Monty after he passed. Oh, yeah. You know, it was just, it was um, just latched on to. Memoriam, yeah. Was, yeah, kind of thing. Elegy. Yeah. Yeah, it is. This is the actual one that was written. Great. Uh, I'm going to feel things today. Yep. <laughs> yes, you are. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't supposed to feel anything until after six. Right. right. <laughs> I thought I was I need at least two drinks in me before yeah, right. At ten or nothing happens injury. before six p.m. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. And I'm, a, so ba and I'm a base. <laughs> nothing, nothing happens after like 10 a.m. So. Remember, you sing for three hours and then you have to sing a high C and kill yourself. Correct. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> That's... The te that's the tenor way. Regardless if you actually yeah. hit the high C or not, you still kill yourself. <laughs> All right. So Ready? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Are you? I'm fine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I saw it. I, oh, I know. It just... Everybody's crying. I could tell he was crying, you dunce. Oh, that was a good interval mm -hmm. there. She's, so she's going low. You it's okay. Oh yeah, no, she stays in the lower section a lot. I like it. You taught me how to leave the ground to use my way. Don't look at me, goose. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I never thought <laughs> Blinders. I <laughs> 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 don't need human interaction on a song like this. Hindsight, like having listened all the way through volume six at this point for the soundtracks and stuff. When you hear opening piano, that's going to be a problem. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's going to get deep. Right. It's, yeah, just I think he's latched on to that. For it's like the China and the mosh pit, the piano, the depression. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not just him, that's a standard. Mm -hmm. Strings. You helped me feel I had a place direction found. You showed me that a greater dream can be achieved. Enough resolve will conquer all if we believe. I think ah. Oh, the horn. Mm -hmm. The French horn or whatever. Remember that lyric for a minute. Yeah, it's almost like there's no resolution. Ish. Yes, no, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that one lyric, your star's still in the sky or whatever. Mm -hmm. So um, 
apparently where that comes from, from what someone had, was describing, was that a fan of Rooster Teeth, you know, where you could you could name a star after a friend or something like that, and like for mm -hmm. their birthday and the whole thing. So if someone named a star from Monty, and then sent that in to Rooster Teeth. And gave them mm. the right, and so they've got it like framed on the wall or something like that or whatever. But that's, but that line is a, is a nod to that mm -hmm. fact or something like that. But yeah, that's what um, like kind of that other line. That's what that's referring yeah. to, because that doesn't actually fit the yeah storyline from the show per se. Even though this tune, you know, like when you're talking about Pira and Jean, mm -hmm. it doesn't. It will double as that very, very easily, obviously. But then, you know, th yeah. but there's those other lines where it's like, okay, well, that doesn't have anything to do with that. And if you think this is fucked up to listen to, wait till you get to volume six. Because right? <laughs> <laughs> there's a there's a couple zingers in that one. I have no doubt. Yeah. No doubt. I mean, but there, it's 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 weird because like the like volume six, it ends up getting to its. This, not exactly the same kind of thing, but it's kind of like a an ode to mm. kind of thing. But there's like a whole like kind of uplifting section of it at the same time. Mm -hmm. So it's like, okay, good, you're not just leaving us with this, you know, downer the whole time. Uh, yeah, right. That was just pretty. Yeah, it really was. Uh, especially going into the chorus, how the, the yeah. kind of call and answer. I don't know. It sounded like at first it was a flugel or maybe like it's just a trumpet, just kind of doing the call and answer with. The melody. So, and then it was a baritone or some shit the second time through. That's how I refer to baritone too. This is, I so there's a, there's a there is a theory aspect of it that I really like. That, yeah, I like it. No drums. Uh, <laughs> 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 Take a break. China crash. Yeah, right. I wanted a gong at least. <laughs> at the end. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, like Bohemian Rhapsody, just like in the. Soft. In the verse, or like in the bridge <clears throat> towards the end, before the chorus, the part right before the chorus, the melody line rolls down to a C. Um, it's 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 the part where Casey's like da 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 da, um, and when she lands mm -hmm. on whatever the end of that line is, and she lands on that C, what's playing underneath her is uh is a D flat chord. So the C represents the seventh of the chord, and normally mm -hmm. when you do it, you put them at opposite ends of the chord, mm -hmm. or just away from each other. But you, by her landing on that, and then the piano starting on the half step right next to it, mm -hmm. there is a dissonance there. Mm -hmm. That just hurts. Yeah. Yeah, and that's, that, that's, that for, I mean, and it's, it doesn't. The theory of it doesn't need to be known, but that dissonance is what. I know what you're talking about. There's some other songs like that, like with the vocal, like with the vocalist. When it, no, I know exactly. It, it what opens the door about. immediately. Like that's that's part of the reason it's very. It creates vulnerability to everyone, is because mm -hmm. it's not abrasive dissonance, but it's not. It it's not. It doesn't fit together, and not fitting together and still sounding pretty hurts. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. It, well, who um. Who does that a lot? Um, Josh Groban, Andre Bocelli. Like, no, let's no, go no, down no, the line. Like, yeah. <laughs> composers. Um, Many. Um, it's a common. That's a. I, common I know, thing. but like, there's there's some really specific who like really uses it on their choral works a lot, like th that kind of distance. Eric Whitaker. Whitaker. Yeah. yeah. Whitaker's very much about it too. Yeah. Yeah, because he'll, he'll sit, he'll pass you right in like this dissonant thing where you're like. If I heard this chord at any other time, I'd be like, "Why?" This I would. It's it's not that it's offensive. It'd be like, <laughs> "Why? Mm -hmm. Why is this here?" Yeah. And but he's the same way where he just it, he makes it work. Yeah. Yeah. Because of what's before and after, it sounds like well, if anyone else tried this at any other point in time in a tune, this would be like a really bad choice. But mm -hmm. they've figured out the flow model to make this right, just where it's supposed to be. Other, um, I'm this. This one is more observation and not something I've researched. But a lot of uh, Celtic stuff does that too. A lot of the old Celtic folk tunes and choral groups that have sprung out of it, like Anuna, mm -hmm. who sound very similar to Whitaker in their work, um, really capitalize on that pretty but 
a pretty dissonance mm. to bring home the emotional points. So right. Yeah. That was that was tangenting further from what occurred to just add a Nuna to that list. Oh yeah. I like no, them. Totally I will yeah. shout them out too because they're <clears throat> one of my favorites. Yeah, like, because there's the when you mentioned that the p- specific thing that stuck out to me was there's the the soprano solo in Sleep. Yes. Oh yes. When that oh, yes. They, like so you spend forty five seconds building up to this resolution chord. Oh yeah. And when it resolves, it doesn't resolve because the soprano goes up to the dissonant note on top. Yeah. And yeah. It, like it hurts. It shatters like everything <laughs> you were expecting <laughs> to have hurts. happen. Yeah. And then but it you're hurt. like but. But it still works. It hurts so. You know. good. It hurts yeah. so good. Yeah. Yeah. It yeah. hurts so good. Exactly. Yeah. Sweet. <laughs> yeah. It's bitter. Okay. So. <laughs> All right. So you good, we, Matthew? we were. Yeah. I'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> so we were talking earlier, and. Uh, um. You know what? There's two. So someone asked about us, listening to. The score. The remixes, though. Oh. Because there'd be like a... Yeah, there's remixes on each There'd be like an acoustic remix of a previous tune from huh. another thing or something like that. Mm-hmm. I see. So, but there's there's only two of them on here. There's Time to Say Goodbye Acoustic, and then there's It's My Turn, which is an actual remix by somebody else. Ooh, okay. Do you want to try those out? I'm done. Okay. Yeah. Ah. So let's try those out, and then... The remixes on the on the 3, 4, 5, 6 are actually really good. There's, a, there's two of them on Volume 6 soundtrack that are... Solid. Super tasty. Yeah. Um, There's three of them, I think, on that one. So, yeah, so this is from one of the previous volumes, but it's a remix of it. I want to back it up just to so start from the top. So, here, right now. There's a point where it tips, there's a point where it breaks, there's a point where it bends, and a point where you just can't take any. There's a line that we'll cross and there's no return There's a time and a place, no bridges left to burn Anymore This is the opening to uh, Volume 2 Always love that change. Only about 10% of the time do I like an acoustic version better than the original. Mm-hmm. Like, this trick usually doesn't get me. Mm-hmm. But specifically because of how Casey Lee sounds, I like this one better than the opening. Yeah. They're both very good, but I I, I like her quiet. I, I have a preference, it seems, for a lot of her quiet choices. Mm-hmm. More so than her loud ones. Well, because it's... It's just real pretty. It's just real clean. And it's not a it's not a whisper tone. No, it's kind not. Of thing, but it's almost. It's very gentle. Yeah. yeah. 
I think. She's using her head voice quite nicely. Yes. And mind you, if you have... The studio can help a lot with that sometimes. Yeah. But she she also does have it. Like, she's got it. <laughs> and yes, I do like the original version of the song, too. Before someone in the comments tries to get me for that. <laughs> Yes. I wanted her to jump on that. The little harp, yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 like sinks back mm. in your chair. It's very Disney. Was it melodica? Was that what you're talking about? No, the it? little harp fill is okay. towards the end. Right when you mentioned that, I thought it was oboe for a sec. Or uh. I thought the other thing I heard was oboe. Mm. And I was like, wait. Are they talking about harp as in like huh? harmonica or something? I couldn't tell what she said. <clears throat> Good. Good for her. Now it's Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Kyrie, no. <laughs> Sora! <laughs> I put this on the field. I would put this on the field too. If it would fit. Yeah. <laughs> Give those runs to the mellophones, mm -hmm. down into the baritones. That's a good that was a good choice. I think. Sorry. I believe that was a good choice. It's all an opinion. I don't state fact. I mean, you just gotta believe, make it a fact. No. <laughs> <That's>, the <laughs> internet is there specifically to make sure you never do that. Do it. No. Do it. I don't want to be destroyed in the comments. <laughs> I don't know if it was the right, right, right. Right. Aha! That's I don't know if it was the instrumentation or how it was arranged, but it had that uh, Nobu, what's his name? Nobu Uomatsu. No, yeah, Thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Final Fantasy Final, vibe. Yeah, yes, yes, Final okay. Fantasy Kingdom Hearts. Yes. <laughs> it's part of that was probably the, the uh, there was a lot of full piano runs, like multi octave uh, yeah. movement. Mm -hmm. Very, very good. Mm -hmm. yeah. So this was a remix of a tune that was on this particular one. Mm. So FYI, but so we've already heard this like today. Yeah. But this is just the remix of it. So the remixes are usually really. Really well done. Okay. Hmm. I don't remember this one at all, so um I do. Okay, so here we go. Oh, okay. If I just close my eyes and I could go anywhere. Snap track, of course. <laughs> I'm also very particular about my remixes because I used to be a dubstep boy. That existed. <laughs> there was a point in time where I actually invested in that. There's a point in time in my life I don't like talking about much, and it was a. Uh... <laughs> right, yeah. That's an 808. Oh, no. <laughs> 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 Shaking his bar right now. Oh, the one robot of our group. <laughs> nice. Phone just start playing. Okay, okay, that was close to this is Wait for it. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good drop. It is a I really drop. like this remix. They could have cut it like short, maybe too much. 
Featuring Bruno Mars, oh, wow. where you at? Yeah, it's very... Oh, right. <laughs> I see what- okay, yeah, this is not the direction I thought it was going to go in. It's like a very R&B, it's very R&B influenced very remix. It's very Kigo or Kaigo, whatever his name is. There's a- there's a remixer out there who does a lot of good work like this too. I always like it when they do that, when they pitch shift the vocal. Mm, that's fine. I'm not about those claps. I think they're so it's silly. About to happen. They're so silly. <laughs> it's everywhere. The drop is good, and everything after the drop is good. This makes me like. The 808 clap, baby. <laughs> that, I bet, too. <laughs> it's <Yep>. a bit. <laughs> yep. I just use that hi hat next to him in the drop. Right. It's not. A trap hat. It's not bad. I just think it's silly. <laughs> I mean, if you were. Drop the bass now. Uh -huh. But it's like, it's a lo fi drop. Like, it's not, yeah. it's not a heavy <laughs> drop. Yeah. Someone call 911. <laughs> 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 call 911 now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, it's it's uh, yeah, it's very lo-fi yeah. and I really like that a lot actually. I like the drop. I like this part. Yeah. Right then, it turns into a nightlife tune. Jetta, 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 yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah, yeah. I like Jetta, that. Jetta, Jetta, yes. Jetta. Yep. That's yeah, lo-fi synthwave, vaporwave, mm. somewhere along those lines. Mm. Like, mm. those claps, <laughs> Matthew. Oh jeez. <laughs> Now that it's hijacked like that old cup label with the silly swirls. Yeah. It became such a phenomenon. Yeah, that's, yeah I, I do like that synth wave stuff after the drop. I think the lead up is silly. That's <laughs> because you don't got no incredible hulks in you. That's, that's why. not wow. really, That's definitely not it. <laughs> you went in. You went in. <laughs> I can't help. The first drop is just like, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> that is definitely not, no really. <laughs> that was good. Yes. It was good. I didn't think I was like leading up to. It, I was just like, yeah, I'd, I'd I'd pass on this, and then the drop happened. I was like, oh no, nah, fucks with this. <coughs> it, it was tasty. Yeah, if if you're if that was on in the background of something, yes, then yeah. Not to say it's not worth listening to. I mean, I don't want I don't want anyone to think I'm saying that either. But if uh, but that's definitely a background. It also works quite well. Yeah, it's, it's, it's background noise. Yeah, it's it's uh, in the club. I'm not listening to the lyrics. I don't know what this is from, but this is it's just. It I was I was still. It the night perfectly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. It would still get me to move. I'd be like, oh right. yeah. Well, I wouldn't go that far for me. Well, I sitting and sitting sitting there, just my drink just kind of bobbing my head, like, all right, so I like this. Well, I it, was it was good. You're going to the, the wrong theory. club, son. No, I wasn't going to be dancing. <laughs> yeah. No. Wait. We don't want to see that. <laughs> I don't want to see that. <laughs> I have no comment. Sirs and madams after dark. All right. <laughs> Sirs and madams webcam. No, it just goes. Oh! To, oh, it, that's I mean, Oasis it, is right down the street. Wow! <laughs> it goes, wow, it goes no. from Sirs and madams just to S and M. That's the point. Like after dark, it's a zoop. <laughs> <laughs> it just gets yeah. That's the everything just gets reduced. It's get fun. it. It's the joke. <laughs> Someone actually caught that in the comments. Oh really? They, they, How? It's so uh, it's so easy to. How did not more people get well, it? Well, no, no, no. Because they were making a very specific comment oh. about um, I, I forget what episode, but it was one of the ones like, oh, why do you, you know, why do you have to torture me like that or something like that? And they said, oh, I get it now. <laughs> <laughs> and so in the same comment, they actually like, why do you have to torture me like that? And then like they actually s just called themselves out on oh wait. Hold on. I, I get, get it. it. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it was an intentional choice by the creators of this channel. I forget what I responded, but I was just—I basically was like, "Zing!" Like, <laughs> you got it. You know, like that's—that's that's the fun get this man a cookie. <laughs> Buzzing. Uh, so this was the thing I talked about earlier. Mm -hmm. So this is uh, Team Ruby versus Team Funky. Like so the score. Yeah, mm -hmm. during during the actual fight. Yeah. Well, because I don't know who the K and the I is. 
but you have Flint, Cole, and Neon Cat. It don't all. matter. Yeah, <laughs> we, we, we haven't seen them yet at all. So okay. Or so just FYI, ever you don't know who those other people are. They died in the beginning. They died yes. in the fall. They could have, for all I know. At right. This point. Right. We have no idea. So, uh, so yeah. But this is the score for the fight scene when it was going back and forth between the different, like you go from swing and then kind of go to like, almost like an 80s thing and then back to like a big band mm -hmm. or you know, back and forth. That's what this is. Got it? All right, there let's do go. it. it is. Sorry, I spaced out. I That's all right. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> Well, because you've got like that, the EDM going on in the background. Right, it's it's a lot. It's like wind up and everything. Yep. <laughs> yeah. That's the horn fills on the end are nice. I like mm -hmm. that. I don't know who played horns for volume three, but I know who played horns for volume two. Oh really? You yeah. do? Okay. No fun. Joey over at Geek House. He had the CD. I said, take a pic of the credit or the poster, oh, okay. send it to me. So. Erase. So the Manhattan yeah. transfer. It's that Manhattan yeah. transfer kind of thing going. There you go, Jason. Mm. Yeah, good for her. Syncopated scat or synchronized scat with the instruments is really good. <laughs> Just get the walking. I don't care what else is happening. I know. Yeah. Uh, that's why it's so good for her because I'm just like, all right, there it is. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> and we're in. Yeah, those, those trumpets are doing work. My instrument's actually in here for once. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, everything about this is great. So you go like, <laughs> yeah, 80s rockish. It's a ta I, <laughs> I just call it the Attack on Titan effect these days. Ever <laughs> since they started combining, it's been done long before them, but yeah. <laughs> since they're an iconic <laughs> example of strings and like rock stuff put together, it's just, it's the Linked Horizon effect. Black Mage is gone. Right. <laughs> With all the music cues are really good in here because like these transitions are clean too. Yeah. Oh. That's Weiss's little. Well, yeah. But that's when like she's from Mirror Mirror. The, the thing. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Everyone that's an going. interesting effect. What is that? What is that effect on the bass? Oh, he knows it. I can see the pedal. Right, like, that's what's killing me. <laughs> it's right there. I like that. That's cute. It's <laughs> a busier bass line than I originally thought it was. Okay. Yeah, it it's is. It's busy. moving. Two, three, four. <laughs> yeah, it's like, yeah, I can hear the Jocko going on. <laughs> yep, yeah. a little Pistorius going on. That's the... Uh, Early 90s Saturday Night Live sax section happening. Yep. Yes. yes, it is. Yes. Triplets. Triple, triple, triple. Oh, wow, that's really good. That's some Earth, Wind, and Fire horn yeah, stuff. Right. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, Earth, Wind, and Fire. Okay. And all all nine of us. Ready? Go! And the guitar is playing the melody from I Burn, which is a Yang's yep. theme song. Yep. Shit. 
Yeah. That I think that was my favorite song out of all we've heard today. Really? Yeah. 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 Well, yeah, I mean, it's not because we don't like the pop stuff. No, but... not at all. Oh yeah, no, 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 no. I'm just there was a lot going on in that. There, that, was fun. that piece had a lot in it, and it was all the things I liked. Sorry. You bashing the mic? Yeah, that was right. <laughs> <laughs> the part when Black Tide White stands up, it's the boom mic at home. Oh yeah. <laughs> just kind of looks up for a second. Ooh, that's a tasty album. Mm-hmm. A lot of Weiss. A lot of Weiss on that album. Mm-hmm. Which fits. I thought there'd be more Pira. But contextually. Yeah. Not, not be as much Penny. Wow. How rude. <laughs> oh. How rude. <laughs> yes, give me more. <laughs> I feed on your tears. Right. <laughs> you know, like, honestly, like Cartman, just going to put him in a little vial so I can drink him. Most Ruby fans, that seems to be like the I people did. that really dig Ruby. They, like, you they can, go straight to that episode. You, you can... you. Yeah, so like, if you look at like uh, view counts of right. certain episodes, I mean, it doesn't matter whose channel. But like, <laughs> one more penny dies. You, you, but there's certain episodes where it's like, oh, like you know, let's say ten thousand, ten thousand, ten thousand, thirty thousand, ten thousand. Yeah. Like, yeah, I'm going straight for the gut punch. Yeah, I want to see someone cry. Now I want to see someone else cry. Let's go to the next <laughs> right. episode yep. or whatever. And in fairness, I didn't. So on that episode when we recorded, I didn't know my face was like that much. Yeah, man. When that moment hit, yeah. and I watched it back, and I was just like, "Yeah, it fits." But it's I was like, just like, "Damn!" Yeah, when I she really gets when she, rather, when she gets ripped in half, you literally just yeah, like full O face. Right. <laughs> it was a lot. And I was just that like, just happened. Right? Yeah, I was so mad. And then Mary is just sitting there going, "I'm dead inside. <laughs> I'm dead inside." <laughs> Yeah. That and when we decided to come up with Team Jism as the name are like my two favorites out of this whole season. Because I just, because you're just chilling in the back and I die. Like you just watch me like collapse on camera. And Hashtag Team Jism. Right. Yeah. Never let it die. Like. Yeah, a lot of people were suggesting a whole bunch of other stuff. Which, jams. Everyone was saying jams. J M M S. Which and we definitely didn't even think about yeah. that. We didn't even think about that. It's a good one. It is. Jams is good. The way that the way the font looks, it looks like your name T. starts with a T. Yes. And so some, son. there was a bunch of them that were like, "Well, that would actually really be cool, except for the fact that there's no actual T in it, unfortunately." You know? <laughs> right. It's like that would have worked really well, and we can't do anything about it. <laughs> And with that, that's I'm volume. Take a piss. That's volume three. Oh, volume three OST. Oh, I hate myself for saying that. Don't worry. Good. But yeah, we'll see all y'all on the next one. And Jason just th- walked away in right? front of the camera before we even it's say okay. goodbye. Oh, as as we slowly uh, devolve, we will catch y'all I'm on the to, next one. Turn right. the door to the table, but the beer <laughs> gut. Damn it! I will let you on in a second. Damn! Let the. Fit- Bye, guys. No, you're good. We'll see you in the next one. Hope you enjoyed this. Bye. Catch you later.